Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review. Crap, 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 crap. That's right, a bunch of crap. You're welcome. Anyhow, moving straight into it today. Today we're going to be talking about a product that's been on the market for we have absolutely no idea how long. But of course, we are talking about the one and only Howler Head. So, Howler Head, Monkey Spirit, what can be said about this one? Well, uh, you know, this one is Bananas Gone Crazy. Yeah, that's right. We said it, and not us saying it. We're reading the bottle. Okay, shh. Listen up. Bananas blended with the finest Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey we could get our paws on. You've got a kick of oak, a whirl of sweetness, and some straight from the jungle bananarama goodness. Some people said we were monkeying around. They said convention is not to be trifled with. We heard them. There are whole cities full of people not trifling with convention. For the rest of us, welcome to the jungle. Bananas gone crazy. Uh, so this is from uh, Charleston, South Carolina, it looks like. And, uh, you know, what can be said about this one? Well, Howlerhead, Monkey Spirit, Bananarama, Whiskey. Man, this one, uh, you know, starts off about here and it's like okay yeah it's banana flavor okay it's kerosene it's kerosene it's kerosene ah it's banana -y. it's banana -y. all right that was an all right little bottle so hellerhead banana ram uh, monkey spirit what can actually be said about this one is that uh man it's definitely worth a try if you're into the flavored whiskeys and for some reason for the last i don't know year or so we've been all about the little randomly flavored whiskeys and such as we've talked about what the hell i don't know apple and peach and you know banana now and uh you know fucking whatever caramel or something who cares yeah, there's a bunch of random flavored whiskeys that are floating out there now and about uh you know for folks like us that enjoy a flavored whiskey uh, the biggest one flaw that we can say about this Howler Head one is that we actually wish it was more banana-y than it actually is. You know we likes our bananas, and we like to cram bananas in our mouth and face, so we do wish it was a little more banana-y than what is presented forward. But it is definitely adequate banana in this and such in it, and they can definitely continue to call it, uh, you know... Uh, Bananarama goodness, if they so choose, uh, but it's more like banana goodness. If they really wanted to add the bananarama, then they better throw another couple bananas in this one, uh, you know, because we we want that to, you know, even punch us in the face and mouthpiece a little harder. Uh, but, you know, all in all, like we said, it's worth a try, man. Uh, it definitely ain't going to be for everyone. If you like your stuff just straightforward and to the point, uh, you ain't going to dig none of these flavors or anything. But if you're open-minded to the flavors and such, you know, get your bottle. Don't get your bottle. Who cares? Uh, you know, do whatever you feel like. But Howlerhead, uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey with natural banana flavor. Maybe they need to do unnatural banana flavor. Beef it up some, huh? Get some of those preservatives and such in there. What can be said about this one? Well, you get a good old-fashioned... Where's the spot? Here's one. Check. Or check it out. Or don't. Who cares? Do whatever you feel like. Until then, you can get you some Bananarama Monkey Head. Or not. Do whatever you feel like. Have a good one. You probably didn't. We'll catch you next time. Probably won't.